Caribbean Connections TV will bring the Caribbean and its flavors to our viewers in a fresh, vibrant way that will entertain as well as educate. It's your direct connection to the Caribbean experience. Caribbean Connections TV. Buckle your seatbelts. This is going to be an exciting, fantastic, energetic, soul-stirring ride. So don't you move. Well, I'm glad that he's here. And I really appreciate his presence. So I want to invite Bishop Nigel C. all the way from Manzanilla in Trinidad. Amen. Now it may sound as if you right there. It does take two hours from Port of Spain to Manzanilla on a good day. So if he does leave Manzanilla, come down, catch a plane, come all the way here. And he's here with me. I give God thanks. Amen. Church of God, Bishop Nigel. Lord, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Is there anybody inside here? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. A little groan. Hallelujah. So I want to groan something.
to Queen Mother Sheila, to Queen Mother Esther, to all the ministering servants of God, especially in office, mothers, teachers, the mothers at home, my people of God, to Mother Olive, Queen Mother Olive, Mother Kathy, wonderful people of God, I bless your day. This is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day that the Lord has made. I said, this is the day that the Lord has made. Somebody said unto me, I was glad when they said unto me, let us, let us, let us, praise the Lord. I'm going to take just five minutes. But my word to you today is to fear not. My word to you today is to fear not. Look at the person next to you and tell them, fear not. Fear not. I'm not going to get excited. I'm just going to take my time and share with you. I promise I'm not going to get excited. Fear not. 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 Somebody fear not. Fear not. Somebody in the evening. Fear not. If you have a righteous church, I say what? If you have no grocery in your house, fear not. If your children giving you trouble, whatever your circumstances be, I say what? And sometimes that is hard. Something that is hard to do. Amen. But I want to tell you today that your earthly struggles, according to the foundation, prepare you for your heavenly day. Amen. Somebody didn't hear me. I say your earthly struggles is going to now prepare you for your earthly game. And because you know that there are a glory that you're working towards. Uh huh. Fear not. Somebody get the message. I said, fear not. Fear not. Because this is just a, a time that we're passing through. And that we're going to just go through different changing scenes of life, according to the hymn writer. And these different changing scenes just to prepare us. The scripture said, the things that we can see. So I'm saying to you that your daily challenges, your daily struggles, the things that now bring sorrow to your heart and make you cry and weep, all these things is to prepare you for tomorrow. All these things is to saddle your back for tomorrow. A third truth that the scripture says this evening is that the outer body, this physical body, wax weaker daily. That's a sad truth. But the, the, the soul, the spirit man, is supposed to be strengthened daily. So I'm going to just give you an analogy. I bought the plane from Trinidad to Toronto. And the closer we come to Toronto, is the weaker the body gets. I'm not even understand what I'm saying. The closer you become to the glory of God, this is will pass and go. Uh huh. But the flesh must endure some hardship. Yes. The flesh must go through some some torment. I wonder if you understand what I'm saying. I want to encourage you today. Whatever you're going through, fear not. Uh huh. Whatever you're about to go through, because that is only for a time that we don't have to It's only for a short season. Uh huh. We know of a crown. The world said that things that we have not seen, we didn't see it. But because of faith and hope. We want to work towards this crown. Don't let nothing. 
and nobody. Nothing. And nobody. Separate us. From the love of God. If you think you have to be perfect before you come to Christ. Go ahead. That's not true. Go ahead. Come just as you are. Yeah. I say come just as you are. Yeah. And as you walk closer. The word is powerful enough to start to shape you and prepare you for that glorious day. Praise the Lord. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be in this house. Mr. Holloway, I'm happy to spend today with you. Praise the Lord. I pray that God is going to build this house, the house of St. Francis, from strength to strength. I pray God will be my last visit. Praise the Lord. And uh, I just want to have a good time. Yeah. I just want to have a good time and so continue to have a good time. Praise the Lord. To my brother, the commander, partner in crime, I want to say continue in the faith. I don't know if we committed any crime today. I don't know if we committed any crime today. But you know, once you say one thing, I say something like that. So, we will continue to have a good time. God bless you, God keep you. In no other name but in Jesus. Tell me where you find Jesus, Calvary. Tell me where you find Jesus, Calvary. Oh, Calvary, Lord, Calvary.